they're trying to copy you. But now they realize that God made you special. See, these people thought they was going to steal your identity. They thought they was going to become the next best version of you. But that man above, he will reveal to them right in front of their face that you are the chosen one, that you are the only special true one. I never try to take somebody's identity. I don't want to copy nobody. I just want to be Jordan, the chosen one. And I feel like the world will be a better place if everybody had their own style, if everybody had their own swag, if everybody, you know, serve God the way they serve God, or if people just, just be themselves, just do what you do best instead of copying somebody else. They try to steal your ideas. Understand where I'm coming from. They even trying to talk like you. So just know that these people are really out here trying to be the next best version of you. <laughs> but now they realize that God has made you special and there's nothing they can do about it. Understand what I'm saying? They can even have an ambush makeover. They still won't be the next best version of you because God only made one unique you. God only made one chosen one in you. Understand what I'm saying, guys? See, a lot of people... They're not chosen. They're calling themselves chosen. They're not chosen, one, guys. So people will play that role. And that's another version of people trying to copy you. It's calling themselves so-called chosen. These people are not chosen, y'all. Y'all got to pay attention. Half of these people in here are not chosen. And I'm just stating facts. That's why God said many are called, but a very few are chosen. I gave you guys the five sign. Please check out my previous videos, guys, because I'm telling you right now. Your enemies, your adversaries, your so-called family members, your so-called friends, they try to copy you, but they realize God made you special. This dream was only for you. He didn't make it for nobody else. If he wanted this dream for, to be for somebody else, he would have made it. He would have granted them their dream. And they big mad because they know they can't be like you. Now they got to figure it out. But my best advice to you guys is just be yourself. I don't want to be nobody. You guys chosen one should want to be nobody. I don't want to be like nobody else. I love the way God has created me. And all I'm doing is, is trying to become the best next version of myself. I'm not in competition with nobody. I don't want to have a better car than nobody. I just want to be me and just live the life that God has ordained for me to live. I can't go around trying to live everybody else's life and trying to pretend I'm this person, that person. No, I'm not. It's not even going to come out right. I'm not even going to feel right. If I want to just try to just be somebody else instead of their identity, I wouldn't even want to live life. Understand what I'm saying, guys? Shout out to the Chosen ones. Shout out to the Star Seeds. Shout out to the WTC gang, baby. And we back. What the devil meant for evil, God turned around for my good. We back up in here, baby. And we ain't going nowhere. I need everybody to like this video right now. Because guess what? You, are, you even knew they tried to copy you. You knew they tried to steal your ideas, and you definitely knew they tried to steal your identity. But God had to tell them it's only one you. Whether they like it or not. So I need everybody to subscribe to this channel because I'm going in tonight, baby. I need everybody to comment 1111 for new beginnings because we're not waiting for 2022. Our time is now. And while they was too busy trying to copy us and, and try to copy everything we do, how we dress, how we talk, the way we walk, while you too busy trying to be me, I'm becoming a better version of myself. Because God created me a new creature. All former things have passed away. 
These people are in disbelief that God chose you for the mission. They're shocked. They can't even believe with their own eyes. Well, peekaboo, I see you too, baby. Understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you, God is going to make your haters your number one, your number one supporters. I'll keep telling y'all this. They try to copy you. They definitely try to steal your ideas. It made it seem like it was them that started all this. But God said, no, it was you the whole time. You have been the real MVP the whole time. And people really try to play you like you wasn't the real MVP. People were just blowing smoke. So I'm telling you, chosen ones, don't be afraid to be yourself. Be your own unique version of yourself. That's going to make you stick out even more. That's going to make you stand out even more when you just be yourself. The way you dress is the way you dress. The way you get your hair done is the way you get your hair done, ladies. There's women out there will really try to get their hair done like y'all. But it's like, no, get your own style. There's guys that be trying to get the same haircut as me. No, get your own style. There's nothing like being your own unique self. That's the most beauty of it all. I don't want to be like nobody else. Because let them be them. And I want to be me. I like what I like. I'm going to do what I do, baby. I can't beat you at, at, at being you. You can't beat me at being me. Why we can't just be two separate people, two different people who both love God? Why I got to be in competition? I'm trying to be like you. I'm trying to be better than you. I'm trying to be the, the best next version of you. There's none of that going down because God made everybody differently. And people will soon to find out. Like people will really like, they will be in secret competition with you. Let me see if I can do this better. Let me see if I can dress better. Let me see if I can get the haircut, if I can get a better barber. You'd be so surprised how people just really be in secret competition. And it's not even... I'm not even competition because I know I'm chosen. When you're chosen, we don't even, what is competition? There is no competition. We will always win. We got God on our side. God is the head coach. God, the one that molded us and shaped us and created us uh, in his likeness and image, the way we want it to look. Understand where I'm coming from. God, God is the general manager. And these people now are starting to realize that you are special. They really realize that you are really the chosen one. And there's nothing they can do about it. What's meant to be will be, guys. What's going to happen is going to happen. If God chose you to be the light of the world, you're going to be the light of the world. And can't nothing the devil or the enemy can do about it in the name of Jesus. So he might as well go back to the pits of hell to where he belongs. <laughs> that's, that's right. I miss y'all. <laughs> but your boy is back. Come on. Understand what I'm saying? Your boy is back. But just understand that these people really try their best to copy you. They really try their best to be the next best version of you. And you would just look at them and just laugh because you know they copying your every move. But God said, no, it's only one Jordan. Go find your other identity. Go find your own identity. Go find out who you are. See, that's what's wrong with people now. People don't even want to get to know themselves. They don't even know what they like or what, the, you know what I'm saying, or what, what ticks them off or what makes them happy, you know. They're too busy trying to worry about the next person, what they like, what they don't like. How can I do this better than him? Or how can I do this better than her? People always worry about somebody else's life when they need to worry about their own life. Because the chosen ones, we always get the last laugh. We'll sit back and just watch you and just laugh. Because we know there's only one me. There's only one us. See, one thing about chosen ones, we're not trying to be like nobody. Because we know God made us different and unique in his own way. In his own likeness and image. God made each and every chosen one different, I promise you. When do you see uh, chosen ones that are twins? I mean, you'll be surprised. They, they they probably are out there. But that's very rare. You see twins, and they're both chosen. Either one's chosen and one not. Come on now. Let's, let's keep it 100. Everybody ain't chosen. 
But shout out to everybody. Shout out to my subscribers, guys. Let's keep this positive energy going. Because guess what? We already know how that devil be playing. We know how that devil do. So I said, I got to see my folks tonight. Shout out to the WTC gang, baby. If you're trying to be a part of the WTC gang, I dare you to comment 1111 below. And type in WTC. Because guess what? I'm going to get with you. I got to evaluate you. I got to slow cook you. Because everybody can't be a part of the WTC, baby. And it stands for we the chosen ones. We we going to ride. We going to ride together. We going to slide together for Jesus. And just know that no weapon formed against you guys will prosper, guys. People can try to copy all you want, but they realize that God made you special, so now they got to back back. They want to put lips on your success, but guess what? They want to be a part of the success. No, you can't have a slice of pie. Understand where I'm coming from. You cannot have a piece of this success, and don't give, don't give them, guys, what you've built. Don't let them tear down what you built. 11-11 is approaching. Type in 11-11 right now. If you believe God for a miracle, if you believe in God for a financial breakthrough this week, I'm telling you guys, God is getting ready to do some things. You guys have to be ready. You guys have to be prepared for these blessings. Now that God have told you your worth, God has showed you your worth. He's telling you you're chosen. What are you going to do about it? Faith without works is dead. And you best believe people are watching. And they're waiting for your downfall. And they're praying for your downfall. But guess what? If God is for you, can none, none of these people be against you? Tell these people to kick rocks. Because you're about to go to the next destination. You're about to go to the next level, baby. God has been so good to me, guys, and I appreciate each and every subscribe. I really do from the very bottom of my heart to the very depths of my soul. I appreciate every comment. You know, I'm getting a lot of emails. You guys are showing me some major love, and I just want to say I love you guys with the fullness in the bottom, from the very bottom of my heart to the very depths of my soul. That's 100, guys, because I'm telling y'all right now, I got your back. I'm not going to let y'all fold. Let these people try to copy you. Let them try to be you. Just let them. Sometimes you got to let people do what they what they want to do so you see what they rather do. Eventually, they're going to say, you know what? I give up. God made this man special. God made this woman special. Let me try to be myself. And it's sad that it got to get to that point. Because I wouldn't want to be nobody. I'm sorry. I know me. I've been, I've been living for 30 years. I know me. I just want to be me. Whatever God created me to be, I just want to be me, myself, and I. I don't want to be nobody else. And like I said, guys, if you guys would love to be a blessing to my channel, my cash app is God will provide three zero. And I also have a pay uh, PayPal account as well. My PayPal is God will provide three zero. Amen. So it's the same as my cash app. God will provide three zero. Give and it shall be given unto you guys. I am a firm believer in giving. God is good. Every time I give, I get it back double. That's just 100. But if God put on your heart to bless my channel, because guess what? We're going to new levels. We're going to newer heights, guys. Understand what I'm saying? God is getting ready to do some things in your lives. You guys have to believe. But then you got to have the works behind it, baby. If you want to open up your own business, you got to have the works behind it. Just do it. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till the next day. Don't wait till next month. That's not promised to us, guys. I'm all up in, I'm all for the blessings to come now. The blessings are about to come now. We've been patiently waiting, chosen ones. Our time is now. But don't worry about it if they're trying to steal your identity. Because guess what? There's only one unique, beautiful you, man. Love yourself. You know, too many people out here giving up on themselves, man. Love yourself. Dress nice every day. Understand what I'm saying? How they gonna copy if you dressing nice and looking fly every day? See, people, this is what I don't like. People have a tendency to, oh, one day I'm gonna get my hair cut or this day of the week I'm gonna get my hair done. You should always wanna get your hair cut and always wanna get your hair done no matter what day it is. That's why I wanna tell people. Me, if I wanna get a haircut, I'm gonna get a haircut. I don't want to let a day, you know, determine when I get a haircut. We, we might not be here to see that day. 
So I'm saying you supposed to really look fly every single day. Trust me. You supposed to look fly every single day. Because tomorrow ain't promising none of us. You looking fly, smelling good. You know, fellas, you got your hair cut, you know, looking good for the ladies. Ladies, you got your hair done, got your nails done, your feet done. How they try to copy you? They, they ain't going to be able to keep up. So you have to stay keeping yourself up. A lot of people letting themselves go. I'm not letting myself go. The devil is a liar. I got to do what I got to do to get this haircut. I'm going to make it make it happen, baby. Because first impression matters, and people don't realize that. People are watching. I don't want to be around nobody looking crazy, looking half crazy. My grandma used to tell me when you go over to people's house or if you go somewhere, you're supposed to look your very best. Even when you go into the store or something like that, you're supposed to look your very best. You don't know what opportunity is coming your way by you just looking really good. And people pay attention, man. But just know if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need prayer, you have a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration. You have the best motivational speaker in me. And just know if God is for you, can't nobody be against you. So let these Decepticons try to steal your identity. Let them. Because guess what? They're going to have to just give up one day and say, you know what? I realize that you are the chosen one. Just like the people said for Jesus when he was on that cross, this must be the son of God. Your enemy is going to say, you know what? I got to give it to you. I realize you're the chosen one. Understand what I'm saying, baby. And there's nothing that they can do about it. Because we the chosen ones. Go. Stay tuned to the next video.